Welcome to Lesson 12 of Daily Theology. Today we're going to finish the doctrine of God by discussing God's providence, which refers to God's work of sustaining creation and directing all of it towards the purpose for which he's made it. God cares and provides for, he preserves and governs everything and everyone. The God of Scripture is not the God of deism, which teaches that he's like a divine watchmaker who after making it is hands off and sort of lets it run on its own. Nor is the God of the Bible the God of process theology or open theism, which teaches that he isn't sovereign or omnipotent or omniscient. Listen to what the scripture says about the providence of God. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says of Christ that he upholds the universe by the word of his power. Colossians 1.17 says in him all things hold together. Nehemiah 9.6 says you are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them. Psalm 104, 27 through 30 says, These all look up to you, God, to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. Psalm 148, 8 says, Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfill God's word. Matthew 10, 29 and 30 says, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Psalm 139, 13 through 16 says, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your books were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Proverbs 16, 4 says the Lord has made everything for its purpose, even the wicked for the day of trouble. Proverbs 16, 33 says the lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. Proverbs 19, 21 says many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it's the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Proverbs 21, 1 says the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He, the Lord, turns it wherever he wants. Isaiah 14, 24 through 27 says, The Lord of hosts has sworn, As I have planned, so it shall be, and as I have purposed, so it shall stand. This is the purpose that is purposed concerning the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out over all the nations. For the Lord of hosts is purposed, and who will annul it? His hand is stretched out. And who will turn it back? Isaiah 37, 26 says, Have you not heard that I determined it long ago? I planned from days of old what now I'm bringing to pass. Isaiah 46, 9 through 11 says, I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times things not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will accomplish all my purpose. I have spoken, and I will bring it to pass. I have purpose, and I will do it. Ephesians 1.11 says of God that he works all things according to the counsel of his will. When Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery, he told them in Genesis 45.8 that it was God, not them, who sent him to Egypt. And in Genesis 50.20, he said that while they meant it for evil, God meant it for good. Romans 8, 28 says, God works out all things for the good of those who love him, that he is towards the end of conforming us to the image of Christ. 
Nothing demonstrates the providence of God in a sinful, fallen world better than the crucifixion of Christ. In Acts chapter 2, verse 23, Peter said that Jesus was crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men, but at the same time, he was delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. And in Acts 4, 28, it says that they did whatever God's hand and his plan had predestined to take place. So God isn't an uninvolved watchmaker or an ignorant or impotent ruler. He providentially sustains and directs all that he has created. 